what it is, guys, and happy Merca Day to my people right here in the good old U.S. of A. Uh, those of you that may be outside the country, uh, Canada, New Zealand, wherever the hell you might be, um, get good, you scrubs. Um, guys, I am really excited. I'm really hyped. The whole reason of this video, first I want to give a big shout out to my man Renzi, uh, owner, owner, operator, and proprietor of DBZ.Space, uh, without whom we wouldn't be able to make this amazing content that I'm bringing for you today. Um, dude's a boss, uh, love and death. So if you guys don't use DBZ.Space as your database for Dokkan Battle and Legends for that matter, definitely, definitely fix that. Other than that, guys, I want to start hyping something amazing that is about to come to Dokkan Global, all right? Um, well, what am I talking about? As you know, we we got the Dragon Stones, we got the Purple Dragon Stone, we got the Red Dragon Stone, and the Blue, and I don't think the Blue came to Dokkan JP. I think that's going to be uh, exclusive to us, which means it's probably a Pilaf Trove thing. Oof. We'll see. We'll see. We'll talk about that one and if that comes. But as we're going down here, I want to look at what the hell is that? Battlefield memory? Guys, Battlefield is coming to global, apparently. Um, in fact, I was talking to my data miner, and he was saying that actually, yes, the LR Captain Ginyu, who we'll talk about close to the end of this video, is actually in testing, and probably, I think he said, just about out of testing. Um, so it looks like Battlefield is finally coming to global. Now, as you guys know on JP, or may not know, on JP, they're actually working on Battlefield 2.0. The first version of Battlefield was not a very big success. People didn't like it. It had a tedious portion. It almost had like the shooter type portion. It was really dumb um, that people just absolutely hated. It was not fun to play. It looks like the version that we have now, everyone's hyped for. So, and it comes back every month. It's a monthly thing. Runs for a little bit of time. Kind of like like a like across like a boss rush that shows up every you know in monthly monthly fashions with new hype units and this. Cool little reward. As you guys know, we were talking about last night, Boss Rush didn't really have a reward, aside from the, fir the first pack of stones. It'd be lovely if you get, like, gems and stuff like that for running Boss Rush. But um, other than that, it just becomes, you know, a stamina-free battlefield to test your units. You know, that's that's kind of what it really is amount to. But this fixes that, guys. This gives you something you can actually grind, but it's only around for a limited amount of time. So what exactly is Battlefield? Well... Very simply put, Battlefield is, like I said, it's like a boss rush on steroids. What you do is, you, uh, first of all, you have to have 100 UR, TUR, LR units. Basically, not obviously 100 LRs that aren't the end of the game, but 100 units in those classifications that you can utilize in this. If you have SSRs that you have in Dokond, guilty as charged, um, you want to start getting on that. Because sometime, probably mid to end month, we're going to get this. And you're going to want to make sure that you have as many units as possible to pull from. You Building teams, I'll get to what, why this is important here in a minute. Building teams is going to become a major, major, major skill. All right? So let's talk about it again. Like I said, what it is, 100 UR or higher units that you need to play the game because you build basically a deck of, of your cards with those 100 units. Of those, you build your teams, right? Normal teams like you would normally build, except you don't use a friend unit. You use a sub lead, okay? So let's say you, you're you building a, a, a mono AGL team, right? Um, hero AGL team at that, right? You put your Super Saiyan three Vegeta, or Super Saiyan four Vegeta down, uh, and what else would you use? You know, um, probably maybe a category unit that has a good boost. If you have Majin Vegeta in a heartbeat, um, things like that. But you can't use a friend's unit. You have to rely on your own strength and on your own teams to get through this. Now, here's what's interesting to me: um, you can use units with the same name. You can use two of them, but they can't be the same unit. So let's say you have, for whatever reason, you have two Super Saiyan 4 Vegetas that you've just, you know, got for whatever reason. Uh, the first one is TUR. You kept the other one at a UR. You didn't doke on him. You could actually use that. You could use the plus three key plus uh, 200, uh, that would be 220% lead. That actually would be almost the optimum team uh, lead 
for the mono teams that you would run in there. But a lot of times you're going to be running category teams and things like that. So um, that actually brings up a good point. I was thinking, for me, when it comes to uh, summoning on the Gogeta banners that's coming up, most of those units I have. I have them. I, I, if I pull, like, Int Gogeta, Strength Gogeta, what the hell am I going to do with them? Because I don't need them. Well, if I pull Int Gogetas, honestly, because Battlefield is coming, I'm going to farm up a second Rainbow Star Int Gogeta, but I just won't T-U-R him. I'll U-R him. And then if I need to run, like, you know, that team for Battlefield, that gives me a hella hype, uh, you know, mono Int team that I can just bash through it with. The other thing this means... If you're running that team, I do believe, I, I'd have to double verify this, uh, but I do believe that also means that, let's say you have Tech Vegito Blue, where normally you couldn't use Physical Vegito Blue. If you wanted to run them both on, like, a Patara team, totally do it. So, while it does kind of nerf you in a way of, you know, relying on other friends and stuff like that to be your leaders, it also helps you because now you can build bigger, better dream teams that you've always wanted to build in-game. So it takes a little bit away, but in my opinion, what it gives back is amazing. And I cannot wait, cannot wait to try that out. So hyped for that, guys. So what is boss rush? What are the, what are the fights and all that? Well, it's basically three rounds, right? Uh, first round, I believe, is two boss units that you fight. So it's basically boss rush on steroids. Two boss units you fight. Round two is three boss units. Round four is four boss units, right? You gotta build your teams specifically, and you gotta build them wisely. That's why I say team building is utterly imperative. If you're not building the right teams, you're not gonna beat this. I won't say it's super battle road hard, not by a long shot, but um, it 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 does it does reward skill more than blind ass luck and brute force so it's it's a new battle mode that's coming to global for the first time that i think is going to be a breath of fresh air now what does the battlefield memory do well the battlefield memory is your reward for grinding that out um unfortunately i don't have my jp account on here uh so i couldn't show you what the rewards are in jp but uh one of the biggest rewards is the uh lr Ginyu, the physical LR Ginyu. Now, for those of you that don't know about the Rainbow Star Ginyu Force that's coming, the free-to-play Rainbow, uh, Rainbow Star Ginyu Force, it's basically like Rainbow Bulma and all those, but it's a whole team that you farm up, and then once you farm, you get LR Goku Ginyu, and then you can actually run that LR Ginyu on that team in place of the Rainbow Star Ginyu, um, and then run LR Goku Ginyu. You basically have two LRs on that team. Um, I will talk about that team a lot more when it comes out. There's a lot of insane nuances to that team. They're really stupid OP. But that LR Goku Ginyu, you only get one of him for Rainbow Starring your units, right? He actually is another reward in Battlefield as well. You could get dupes of him for Battlefield and just go ham. Um, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, the only difference is he takes several times what the physical LR Ginyu takes to awaken uh, and he's not quite as strong elegant you is still a better unit but again they, they kind of can work in conjunction again we'll cover that in more detail when it happens but know that we're finally getting an lr that has been sitting on jp for as long as i've been playing this game and we've been drooling over him because he was like the hardest hitter for a long time he's been outpaced a few times at this point but he's still a really damn good unit and he's farmable guys he's basically free you do have to have a crazy good team but there's a possibility free to play units could take on this event and we'll cover that too we're gonna give it our best goddamn shot because frankly i would love to see free to play players have something they can do in here that's not just you know grinding story and all that stuff so there's a lot to think about and to cover on this now it is not easy and especially when you come when it goes to the free to play, you might be at a bit of a detriment. Uh, but we'll give it our best goddamn shot. Absolutely, absolutely, guys. So that I'm, I'm kind of like overhyped at this point, but it is a really exciting thing. There's a lot to talk about and a lot to do in Battlefield. And the fact that it comes back every month and changes up and you know changes its state and all that stuff is really really exciting to me. It's like a it's like a, a traveling boss rush, but. Um, 
you know, you never know what you're going to get. It's, it just seems like a lot of fun. So we're going to cover that, and we're going to cover it on the regular, and we're going to grind it out, and we're going to have a lot of fun. There'll be streams to do with it and things like that. So that's kind of it. I want to just hype this up because I think it's going to be a really good, uh, I would say, breath of fresh air, for lack of a better way to put it, but a fun new new mode for Dokkan Global that we've desperately needed for a while. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. If you're hyped for this, hashtag Battlefield Hype in the comments section. Let's see if we can get that spam down there. Um, now, if you have questions about it, also comment down below. I will do my best to answer it. And unfortunately, like I said, I don't have any gameplay footage because my account's not that hype. But as it comes closer, we will definitely, definitely, definitely start talking about it and get some footage and things like that. Um, and like I said, it's probably not coming until mid to late month. Because Goku Ginyu, let's go ahead and take a look here. Not Goku Ginyu, I'm sorry, LR Ginyu. Let's go to the cards. Schedule. Notice LR Ginyu is not in the schedule. In the schedule. The schedule. All right. Um, we have the dual Dokkan Vestalars, which is hype as shit. Uh, but he's not here yet. If you want to see what he looks like, let's go to JP. Go to list. There he is. Come on. There he is. All right. As soon as we see this card uh, come into the game data, that means that Battlefield is on its way. I don't expect it for at least mid-month, mid to late month, because that's when the second part of the third anniversary is going to start taking off, and that's when um, we're actually going to see LR Goku Ginyu. Where is his ass? Here he is. That unit... Uh, come up in uh, the game data as well. So I, th I want to say they're going to drop around the same time since they're both rewards. So, but I want to cover it early. I didn't want to let this go by. I think it's a really important thing to hype and get ready for because people need time to doke on their units. You want to know, do I want to go ham on these banners that are coming out? Uh, do I want to save stones for the LRs? Because the LRs are just going to be amazing, guys. We'll talk about those banners in more detail coming up really, really, really soon. Um, but for now, hashtag Battlefield Hype if you're hyped for it. Again, a big shout out to Renzi, uh, because without DBZ Space, I probably would not have known about this. Uh, it's just like a little hidden gem, and I haven't seen anyone talk about it yet. So get the, get the discussion going. Hype this video out. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and like I said, a breath of fresh air for Global. Anyway, I'm starting to repeat myself. I'm starting to ramble. As you guys know, like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow my Birdman. Hit me up on Booker. That's, of course, Twitter and Facebook for the Donkey Impaired. Uh, they are in the description down below, and I will lay your ass out next time.